13 Action News Update sponsored by Bell Medical. I'm Todd Quinones and right now in your 13 Action News Update, an EDC ticket holder was arrested. A police say that he threatened the festival with a chemical attack. That's according to an arrest report. A Metro police say that 29 year old Abraham Hurtado Castrejan was threatening the festival because he says he did not receive a refund two years ago when it was canceled due to COVID. According to the report, he bought an EDC ticket for around $349 about two years ago. Police say that Insomniac, which holds the festival, reached out to offer a refund before the event, and then he responded it was too late. Insomniac reported the threat to police and provided some of his information. The 29-year-old right now faces multiple charges, including making threats about acts of terrorism. And the Culinary Union hosted another rally on the Las Vegas Strip Thursday evening. Hundreds of hospitality workers taking part in this event. The union says the rally was all about getting people back to work. The Fremont Street Experience has announced its New Year's Eve lineup, so it's going to feature an 80s and 90s theme. The event will feature live performances from Vanilla Ice, Village People, Bobby Brown, and others. Pre-sale tickets are going to go on sale Friday at noon for $35. 79 degrees and sunny skies on Friday looks like a beautiful end of the work week. We do start in the upper 50s, so a cool start to the morning before those warm temperatures in the afternoon. Ridge of high pressure is still holding steady, which keeps us warm as we work our way into the weekend. 81, the forecast high on Saturday, but we will start to see an increase in cloud cover on Saturday and an increase in wind speed on Sunday. Light breeze is expected on Halloween, but not a significant drop in temperature. Highs stay in the upper 70s on Sunday. Danny, thank you. That was your 13 Action News update. Remember, you could always get the latest news at KTNV.com.